Finding a journal that fits well to your specific niche in research is not that easy. And of course, not all researchers are the same. We have different ways of working, thinking, and also different things we might want from a journal. Do you care most about how many people read your paper or how well it fits your niche? I will talk you through the important factors when choosing a journal and how a journal finder might help you in saving time and being more efficient. The journal finder tool helps you to compare different journals and weigh different factors and you can choose yourself which factors are most important to you. Let me walk you through some scenarios and how the journal finder might help. So here's one scenario. Let's say your main priority is publishing open access and I see this trend along my peers and other researchers where we really want everyone to have access to the papers and everyone to read the full text. And open access is a priority for you, but also maybe a requirement from your funding agency. Then you just select your subject area and add some filters. And then you look at the data sharing policies, the ORCID policies, as well as the preprint policies per journal, and you can compare them side by side and you've got a short list all set. If publishing fast is something important to you because you want to move on with other projects, there are also metrics like time from submission to decision or the time from acceptance to publication. If you really have a great story at hand and you think, oh wow, I really want a lot of people to read this, then you might want to compare journals by the impact factor. Another factor important in your decision where to submit your paper is the acceptance rate. Also, this metric you can find in the journal too. Another scenario might be that you work in a very interdisciplinary area and maybe also with a team of researchers from different areas and that can be quite tricky to find the perfect journal that fits your audience as it doesn't really fit in one research area per se. Then it would be a good idea to come to the journal finder tool and look maybe for some new options that you haven't heard about and really compare all the information and data available about the journals to make your right choice. So here's how I use the journal finder tool. First, you select your research area or your subject, so that is the thing you're working on or are interested in. Then you go through the filters. The first filter I usually apply is the open access one, because I really do want everyone to be able to read the full text paper and I do believe open access is the standard we should be aiming for moving forward in science. Those filters I applied will then already bring me some inspiration and a list of journals that I could go for. Then I'm going to check more data in the boxes under the journals and really compare side by side about the acceptance rate, time from decision to publication and all other factors that you might be interested in. Seeing all these journals side by side with the metrics below them really helps in making decisions, narrowing down the choice. By using this tool you don't have to go through every website of every journal, but you see everything at one glance, which makes comparing way easier. So here's a quick summary of all the factors that you can look at in the journal finder tool. Subject and scope, impact factor in full text views, acceptance rate, time from submission to decision and the time from acceptance to publication, the formatting requirements and the open access policies. So what's the best thing about all of this? I think it's transparency. Transparency is something super important in science but also in the publishing process. This tool shows you all the data up front and it has nothing to hide. Give this video a like if it was helpful and take your fellow researchers if you also want to share this information with them. And please feel free to write in the comments below what the most important metric for you is and what you're mostly looking for when making the decision for what journal to publish in.